Hey guys, this is introduction to R part 5. This part is about writing and reading the external data files. Okay, so first we make our GUI preference in such a way that we can see it conveniently. I'm setting the size 26 and bold. Yeah, control L clear it all up yeah, here you go first we start with command data to see which are the data that are already loaded in R these are the built-in data suppose we want to use the highlighted data to do that we do as this See, this is the R editor. If you want, you can even change the data set. In here, say if you want to put four here, that should be fine. That's it. Yeah. So the data set. Here, we have changed it to four. And that's how it is here. So okay, if you want to work with the data set, let's give it a name. Uh, data file equals this. Okay. If we want to put this data file in an external file, we use sync command. Okay, let's see what the sync command is. Okay. Yeah, this is the help file for sync command. Let's see, I have to give the file name you can type. But maybe not all the commands. Let's try like this. Sync in C drive. Hold one dot text. Then I put data file from the history and check it. You see in the my computer C drive where I specified is a whole one. And this is the data file. There are other ways to that. We could do like this. Write dot table data file is the variable name and of course the location which is from file and let's change the file name as two. Let's see what happens. In C drive we have out to another file created. Similarly if we want to do some other formats we can do it as well. First, take a look at the help file of right table. Yeah, x is the data file, file is the location where you are going to save it. Okay, let's try this command. Instead of text. We can save it as CSV. Yeah, this is the CSV file. Okay, so this is how we write our R data file in external files. We could use the command sync or we could use write.table or write.csv and things like that if you want to see what are the related commands go to the help file and if you go down all the way you will see see also these are the 
right matrix right table right these are the related commands that does the same one okay so far what we have been concerned with is how to put our data first in external files now let's try something new let's try to get the files from get the variables and the elements from an external file in other words we are trying to get the data set from an external file let's put data one equals read your table as you have seen in panel file let's run out one the text and header equals true okay try and edit data one so the things and the data that were recorded in out dot one in your C drive, it is being read in the R where we see that the variable names are already recorded because of the common header equals true. If there was no header in the original dataset then it would omit the first line and consider the first row elements as the variable names obviously um, when we do not have any header in the data we could use some other commands like scan see where we do not care much about the headers we can scan the variable it is especially useful when there is one variable and stuff like that in other case we could use write the matrix write mm. matrix is not right matrix was right but you have to do something else require mass yeah and then try to find we call for right matrix because the command is implemented in mass package that's why you have to pull up the package first to use it so in the current introduction to R all we have done is writing the R dataset in external files and we have also shown how to read data file from external file into R so that's all that, that's all for this part see you in the next part